God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll begin study in the fifth chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. God has blessed us richly, and I'm grateful for all that He is doing for this ministry. I want to pause to thank God for each of you that are logging on on a regular basis. I want you to know how much I appreciate you and how much I love you with the love of the Lord. Today we'll begin study at the first verse, fifth chapter, Acts of the Apostles. If you have your Bibles, please open to that uh the said scripture and read along with us. If you don't have your Bible, please, when you get to a place, you can read it, reread it, uh, and, and see what you can get out of the Word of God. Well, uh, here, as we open up this chapter, what was transpiring, uh, the uh, people that had come to Jesus, all of the believers, uh, they were selling their possessions, all that they had, their land, their houses, and things of that nature, and bringing the money and laying it at the apostles' feet. And, and this was destroyed distributed to everyone so that they could all live uh, on a, 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 a comfortable life, all living together uh, and praying and seeking God and spreading the good news to all who would listen, uh, spreading the, uh, the uh, word about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and many were added to the church. And here we go into a setting where uh, something had transpired. It's noteworthy. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of reading today. If I don't do a lot of commentary, that means that the Bible is making its own self plain. Well, shall we begin our reading? But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price. Uh, his wife also in, um, knowing of it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. And Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost to, uh, to, and to keep back part of the price of the land? While it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not uh, in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. Let me just give you exactly what was going on here. Well, uh, this man and his wife, Ananias and Sapphira, they had sold uh, their land and sold their possession uh, and conspired to keep back part of it, but yet make it appear that they were giving all of their possessions and laying them at the apostles' feet. And what they did is brought this part of the money and kept back part of their own. But let me let you know the Holy Ghost, when it energizes someone, uh, Peter was filled with the Holy Ghost and the gifts of the Spirit operated through him. And so we find that uh, the Holy Ghost brought it to, uh, to their attention. Uh, uh, Peter asked them, why has I done such, uh, 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 such thing? Why have you let Satan fill thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? Well, what Peter told him said, wasn't the land yours? You could have kept it and not said, and you, you know, you, it was yours. You could have did whatever you wanted to do with it. Uh, and he, even after you sold it, uh, uh, you could have kept the money or, or come, come straight and say, look, uh, I, I'm giving a part of what I had and I'm keeping a part. All Peter was saying, why are you lying about it? Uh, well, uh, that happens in the day that we live. Uh, people put on such pretense. Uh, 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 it's, uh, I am, would never tell you that it, you're supposed to sell all of your possessions and bring it to the church and things of that nature, but you should be honest with what you do. Uh, some of us, uh, uh, we put on a pretense of tithe and, and don't completely tithe. We give part of what we what we have and say that we're tithing, maybe give a few dollars in the plate and say that that's tithing. Well, uh, God knows your heart and, and uh, I don't know what the Holy Ghost is going to uh, going to do today uh, to those that will put on a pretense and lie. All God God is saying here is, I want you to be honest. Be honest with what you have. If it's yours, you can do what you want to do with it. Uh, but don't come and lie about it and say that you did one thing and did something else. Uh, so this is what the Holy Spirit was mad at. It wasn't Peter being angry at them, but the Holy Spirit perceived what they did. And, and Peter being filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, God used them to bring this to the forefront. In verse 4, while it remained, uh, 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 
while it uh, remained, was it not thine own? What is he saying? Uh, when, it, when you had it in your hand, it was yours. You could have did what you wanted to with it. And after it was sold, was it not thine own and in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart that thou hast not, uh, uh, well, Peter's saying, thou hast not lied to men, but unto the Holy Ghost. Uh, well, God wants us to be real with him. Uh, you don't have to be fake. Uh, what you have is yours. And, and you can just tell people the truth. Uh, yes, I have so much money, but this is what I'm giving. Uh, you don't have to put on a pretense that you're giving all. Uh, you don't have to put on a pretense that you're doing this one thing, uh, and it's not actually that way. Uh, what the Holy Spirit would have you to do would just, is just be honest with what you have. Uh, number one, there's nobody in this earth important enough for you to have to lie to. Uh, there's nobody in this earth important for you, uh, uh, to, enough for you to have to put on a show for. Just be real and be honest, and that will please our God. In verse 5, Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and died, and great fear came upon all them that heard these things. Well, he just died. He gave up the ghost. Why? Because he lied to the Holy Ghost, and the power of the Holy Ghost is very real. I want you to know it was here, and it would it filled the, the believers uh, to the point where God used them in such miraculous ways. Uh, and don't you know, I want you to know God is pure and God is holy. God is honest. Uh, he knows every false way. Uh, and this is what happened to Ananias. Uh, uh, he, he just fell down dead because the power of the Holy Ghost was so strong. Uh, nobody had to lay hands on him. Nobody had to kill him. But the power of the Holy Ghost was so present uh, and so prevalent uh, that because he transpired and tried to lie to the Holy Holy Ghost, he just fell down dead. Uh, verse 6, and the young man arose, wrapped him up, and carried him out, and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours uh, after when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in, uh, and Peter answered her, tell me what ye sold the land for so much? Uh, and she said, yea, for so much. Uh, then Peter said unto her, uh, how is it that ye have agreed together uh, to test the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them who have buried thy husband uh, are at the door and shall carry thee out. Uh, then fell she down immediately at his feet and died. And the young man came in and found her dead and carried her forth, buried her by her husband. Uh, let me read verse 11 and then I'll talk. And great fear came upon all the church and upon as many as heard these things. Well, can you understand? This husband and wife, they had conspired to do this. They had agreed, said, well, we sell the land for so much but we're going to give this part of it and keep this back, this part back for us. Uh, well, they could have said that up front and lived, uh, but because they tried to do it deceitfully and had conspired to do it, uh, both of them fell dead. Uh, well, I want you to know the power of the Holy Ghost uh, is nothing for you to play with, nothing for me to play with, nothing for anyone to play with. It is very real. And I guarantee you, uh, always be honest because the Holy Ghost knows Peter, uh, 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 the discerning of spirits, uh, 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 and he possessed these gifts of the spirit. Uh, well, I want you to know that same thing happens today. There's some people, uh, you try to lie to them and try to be fake with them, the Holy Ghost energizes them and will let them know what you are doing. Uh, the Holy Ghost is so very real. So all I am saying, uh, you need to be real and you need to be honest and above board and not be a deceptive person and not be an alive person, but be honest. Uh, what you have is yours. Uh, I'm like this. If you don't want to give me something, don't give it to me. Uh, I'll be all right anyway, uh, but don't lie about it and don't try to be deceptive about it. Uh, why? Because the Holy Ghost has your number uh, and the Holy Ghost will deal with you uh, because of your deception. Uh, well, great fear came upon all them that were listening, uh, upon all the church and, and upon many as heard these things. Uh, shall we read in verse 12? Well, <clears throat> 
And by the hand of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. Uh, and they were all with one accord uh, in Solomon's porch. Uh, and of the rest dared no man uh, join himself to them, uh, but the, the people magnified them. Uh, in other words, great fear came upon them. Uh, well, they, they, they saw that the Holy Spirit dealt with Peter uh, and the apostles and those that were there. Uh, so they didn't come immediately trying to rush upon them uh, or join unto them, uh, but they admired them and they magnified them. Um, shall we read on in verse 14? Uh, and believers uh, were the more added to the Lord, uh, multitudes, both men and women. Uh, can't you see at the power of the Holy Ghost? Uh, men and women began to be saved. Uh, many came to Jesus and accepted them, uh, accepted Jesus as their personal Savior. Uh, verse 15, insomuch that they, they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them uh, on beds and couches uh, that at the, at, at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow, uh, overshadow some of them. Uh, can you see this anointing on Peter? Well, I'm gonna, uh, let me just make it plain to you. Uh, this was the same Peter uh, that lied and said that he did not know the Lord. Uh, this was the same Peter that, that, that many of you talk about today because you said he, uh, he was mouthy and, uh, and and uh, 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 talk too, uh, too quick. Uh, oh, this is the same Peter that walked the water. Uh, the same Peter, uh, he had this anointing. Uh, all I'm saying to you here is don't write folks off and say they ain't about nothing. Uh, God can use anyone he wants to, uh, regardless of what they have been through in their past, uh, regardless of, of their weaknesses in their past. Uh, God can raise them up and use them. Uh, and the power of the Holy Ghost overshadowed Peter's soul. Uh, it dwelt with Peter so that, that many people were healed by him and great signs and wonders uh, was worked through him. Well, uh, here they brought the uh, uh, people that were sick into the streets and laid them on beds and, and laid them on couches uh, just so that the shadow of Peter would go by uh, and lighten on them. Uh, well, many of them were healed and delivered. Uh, verse 16, uh, uh, there came also a multitude out of the cities around about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks uh, unto them who were vexed with unclean spirits, uh, and they were healed, uh, every one of them. Uh, can you see the miraculous working power of the Holy Ghost? Uh, the miracle working power of the Holy Ghost? It used the disciples. It used Peter so that all of the ones that they brought to them were healed. Uh, well, Jesus had, had breathed on them. Uh, and this gift of the Holy Ghost was bestowed upon them. Uh, they were doing the same thing that Jesus did uh, when he walked on this earth. Uh, uh, well, uh, the, the, the disciples, uh, Peter had this same anointing. Uh, shall we Read on in verse 17. Then the high priest arose up, and all they that were with, uh, with him, which is the sect of the, Sa the Sadducees, uh, and were filled with indignation. I, I don't care how much good is happening. Uh, there's going to be somebody with the devil in them that don't like it. Uh, well, uh, uh, they were filled with indignation. Verse 18, and laid their hands on the, the, the apostles uh, and put them in the common prison. Uh, but an angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors uh, and brought them forth and said, uh, Go stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words uh, of this life. Uh, and when they heard that, they entered into the temple uh, early in the morning and talked. But the high priest came and they that were with them and called the council together uh, and all the uh, all of the the, the uh, senate uh, of the children of Israel uh, and sent to the prison to have them brought. Uh, well, that next morning they called the council. Uh, so they sent to the prison where they thought they were uh, to have them brought to this council. Uh, but when the officers came and found them not in the prison, uh, they returned and told, uh, saying, The prison truly uh, found we shed uh, with all safety, uh, and the keeper standing outside before the door, but when we had opened, uh, we found no man within. Uh, what, are the, what are they saying? Uh, they said everything was like it was supposed to be. Uh, uh, the, the, the prison doors were locked and shut up, uh, and the guards that was on the outside were at their post watching everything. Uh, and when we went in to get the ones you sent us to get, they 
they just wasn't there. Uh, nobody was in the cell. Uh, we found no man within. Uh, as we read verse 24, Now when the high priest and the captains of the temple uh, and the chief priests heard these things, uh, they were perplexed concerning them uh, how this would grow. Uh, in other words, uh, we locked them up to reprimand them. Uh, now when the word of this gets out, uh, it's going to be worse than it was when we locked them up. Uh, well, uh, they were vexed and perplexed concerning them, uh, how this would grow, uh, uh, how the word would go out. Verse 25, then came one and told them, saying, uh, Behold, the men whom ye put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Uh, and went at, uh, then went the captains with the officers uh, and brought them without violence, uh, for they feared the people, uh, lest they should have been stoned. Uh, in other words, they were careful how they treated them. Uh, they went and got them without violence because they were afraid, uh, afraid that the people would rebel and, and come out for or Peter and the, the apostles come out to, to help them and stone uh, the high priest, uh, uh, stone the Sadducees or whoever was coming out against them. Uh, as we read verse 27, uh, and then they uh, and when they had brought them, uh, they set them before the council, uh, and the high priest asked them, uh, saying, uh, Did not we strictly command you that ye should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, uh, and uh, intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Uh, can, you, can you understand? Peter talked to him and told him, You are the one that crucified him. God sent him to be a help. God sent him, uh, and you killed him. You crucified him. And so it bothered the chief priest and it bothered the Sadducees and those folks. And uh, uh, let me reread verse 28 saying, Did not we strictly command ye that ye should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Well, that's where it belonged. It belonged on them. Why? Because they're the one that had him crucified. They're the one that used their manipulation manipulative uh, schemes uh, to bring him to the point to be crucified. Uh, shall we read verse 29? Uh, then, then Peter uh, and the other apostles answered and said, uh, we ought to obey God rather than men. Uh, just point blank. Uh, if God tells us to do it, we have to do it. Uh, we we, uh, uh, we uh, ought to obey God rather than men. Verse 30, uh, and the God of our fathers raised up Jesus, uh, whom ye slew, uh, and hanged on a tree. Uh, can you see how blunt Peter was? Just told it like it was. Uh, God sent him, you hanging, you hanged him uh, on a tree. Uh, in verse 31, uh, him had God exalted uh, with his right hand to be prince and uh, a savior, and to give repentance to Israel uh, and forgiveness of sin. And verse 32, and we are his witnesses of these things. Can you understand? Peter just stood up and told him like it was. We are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Spirit. So is the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey him. Not only are we witnesses, but the Holy Ghost is a witness. Everything that you see, the Holy Ghost is doing. It's a witness for our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, my friends, I love you with the love of the Lord. If you would like to contact me for any reason, if you would like to ask me a question about our subject matter, about this ministry in general, you can write me at the Word with Chester Ministries, Post Office Box 200483, San Antonio, Texas, 78220. You can also contact me at my website, www.poem.com by Chester.com. Uh, uh, click on where it says about the author and it will take you to a place where you can correspond directly with me. Uh, put your comments in. Uh, please leave your, your email address uh, or if you would like me to call you, leave a phone number and I will get back in touch with you. Uh, I want you to know I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, I love you from the depths of my heart. Uh, 
please know uh, I love you, and if I can do anything to help you, uh, I am there for you. Uh, well, I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you, my friends.